So far this unit, we've been looking at um, five number summaries, box plots, and outliers. So that's what we're going to review in this podcast. So today, well, we're going to start with this example in class. These box plots represent Connie and Oscar's first semester scores. Um, and as you can see, we're going to talk about what's the same and what's different. And if you take a look at it, one thing is the same. That's this middle line here, otherwise known as the median. So the median is the same but if you take a look at the scores Connie's scores are lumped together a lot more than Oscars Oscars are more spread out so it says explain why the median does not tell the whole story well they have the same median but Connie has a lot more cons consistent scores and Oscar can score really low but he also can score really high on his tests um, so I'd like to take the opportunity in this podcast to review finding an outlier. Um, in class, we just do some review, um, and we'll start to talk about how spread out data is. Okay, so the rest of this podcast will be on how do you find your outliers again in a set of data. So I'm just going to pick some numbers for a set of data. Um, let's say that those numbers are 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 85. And so if I asked you what number or numbers appears to be an outlier, you say, well, 85 doesn't really fit with the rest of the numbers. So let's go over how you would show that mathematically. So the first step is to find the five number summary. So we have our minimum 10 or maximum 85. If you cross off and find the middle, it's 12. So let me undo my crossing off. All right, so here is our median. To find Q1, you look at the lower half of the data, everything under the median, and find the middle, which would be 10, so that's Q1. And then find a Q3, you look at everything above the median, so that would be 15, Q3. Okay, so as you can see, if I draw these lines down here, you split this into four quarters. Again, that's why they're called quartiles. You have the same amount of data in each quartile. Okay, so finding an outlier, here are the steps that we've looked at before. The first step, besides finding the five number summary, is to find the interquartile range. In this case, it's 15 minus 10, which is 5. The second step is to find what I call the magic number, and that would be your interquartile range times 1.5. So whatever your interquartile range is, in this case 5, times 1.5 and that would be 7.5. This is our magic number. Our magic number helps us find the fences. Anything outside the fences is an outlier. So step three, to find the lower fence is Q1 minus um, your magic number, and to find the upper fence is Q3 plus our magic number. And so in this case, we have Q1 and Q3. We have 10 and 15, so 10, minus 7.5, which is 2.5. This is the lower fence. And we have um, 15 plus 7.5. Um, and 15 plus 7.5. Let me see if I add it together yet. Which would be 22.5. OK, so these are our fences. Okay, let's draw our modified box plot. I should have used a blank page, which I didn't. Okay, I'm going to do that up here. So our lowest number is 2.5. Highest number is 85. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, so let's say this is 0. And let's go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Sorry, my 70 is not great here. Okay, so to draw your modified box plot, first I'm going to draw on the fences, 2.5 and 22.5. Okay, so 2.5 is about right here. 22.5 is about right here. So those are our fences. We draw the outliers as stars. So 85 is our outlier. That's way out here. So there's our outlier. And then we're going to, our new minimum is um, the next closest number in the fence. So that in that case, that would be 15. So 15, I put a dot. 10, 
is our other min. And they also happen to be Q1 and Q3. So if they happen to be Q1 and Q3, there's just going to be no whiskers. And then our median is 12. So here's what our box plot would look like wouldn't have any whiskers on it. Let's say the minimum was here, then you would have a whisker on it and our maximum is here. But in this case, our minimum and maximum are also Q1 and Q3. And so we have this box part right here, no whiskers, and the big outlier. All right, so again, there's the summary of how you can use your numbers to find the fences. We, there are three steps here, found our magic number. And if there's a number outside the fence, it becomes a star. The new minimum is the next um, now so the new maximum was the next highest number, which also happened to be Q3. All right, so today was day three, and in class, again, we reviewed the assignment and also talking about these quartiles, that there's the same amount of data in each quarter. Um, tomorrow, we will look at looking at um, the stuff, five number summaries and box plots on a calculator.